you know, we were talking about skin complexion and so forth. Azalea Banks recently uh, bleached her skin. Mm. I saw that. And uh, I remember before she was doing that, she was saying uh, how dudes respect, she was calling it the brown paper bag test. Mm -hmm. She said dudes respect the brown paper bag, meaning that your skin tone has to be a brown paper bag color or, or lighter. And she actually defended her doing that and saying that it's no different than getting a nose job or getting a weave. And I, I, yeah, it is no different. I think it's all bad. I think it's all bad. It's all a sign of self-hatred. It's all a sign of not being happy with who you truly are. So you don't believe in weaves? You don't see me wearing one. Your wife? Yeah, but that's her belief. That's not mine. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You never, never said, hey, I don't like your weave. I don't think, I think you should wear your hair natural. Listen. And, I'm not I'm not the type that's going to oppress you. You know what I mean? You're going to do what you want. Like like I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm a 5 percenter. My my wife is a Christian. Yeah. You see there's some people that be, "Oh, how the fuck could you be with it?" You know what I mean? You God and that listen. You do you like like I don't you don't have to believe everything I believe for me to fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm going to let you know what it is I believe, definitely. Okay. You're going to hear that loud and clear. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you the science on weaves and all that type of shit. And if you still choose to wear it, so be it. So so you think wearing a wig or sewing... Now, there'd be weave jokes in my house, you best believe. <laughs> like... <laughs> You best believe I be having. <laughs> you best believe I be having some weave jokes. Are they unbelievable? They be unbelievable sometimes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, but but you really feel that wearing a wig or having a hair extension is the equivalent of actually bleaching your skin? You think that's the same thing? It all speaks to dissatisfaction. Yeah. It all speaks to. There's just diff, different levels of it. Yeah. You see, there's the, you know, you have slapping somebody and then you have murder. It's all violence. Yeah. You see, but there's different degrees. It gets worse and worse as you go on. Um, so now when you're like doing, you know, a wig, lipstick, okay, that's like a slap. You understand what I'm saying? But now when you're cutting your body open to shove tits and asses in it, and now you're fucking, you know, using some shit to, to lighten your, you know, to me, that's that's like murder. You're murdering yourself almost. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's extreme violence. That's extreme dissatisfaction. Yeah, I mean, cause it's interesting how skin bleaching is considered bad, but like... Breast implants and ass implants and you know all that type of shit is not considered. That's it's more acceptable. You know, and I you mean, think yes about and it, no. Like I know, I know some dudes that don't like that shit at all. Like, I like, I don't, like, I don't like it at all. Them fake asses and shit. Don't like, I don't like it at all. Niggas be in the in the strip club talking about real ass alert. Like you know when they see <laughs> yeah, a real that's ass me right there. Like, I'm real doing ass that. alert. Like I'm doing that. Yeah, for real. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> because every Girl, got to waste this thin and the fucking ass out to here. Like, right. come on. Like. And it's also like what, what bothers me is like, because you know, I've always liked thicker women, right? A thicker, a, a thick girl is not supposed to have this tiny little stomach. She doesn't look right. You're supposed to have a little bit of a stomach. I like that. I like having a little bit of stomach. I mean, I don't like a huge gut that hangs right. over your, <laughs> yeah. your knees, but little, I mean, little, like a little, little love handle, handle, some love handles, a stomach. It goes along with the body. When you see these chicks with these huge asses and these thighs, and then this tiny little washboard, you know, not even a washboard stomach because there's no muscles there. It's like just a, it's like a flat, weird looking stomach. It's like I don't like that. That looks weird. I know you think that's what we want, but I don't. It like looks that. deformed. It looks deformed. Okay, and it's yeah. like. So you went from hating yourself, <laughs> but see, it's all how you see it in your mind. Because now, to me, that don't look good. Maybe. Yeah. You see, but in your mind, you were not happy with who you were before, and this is what you was going for. Yeah. 
Whereas I pri- I might have been more happy with you prior to that. And now maybe I'm not so happy with yeah. how you look. You know what I mean? But at the same time, that's that's no hatred towards you or anything like that. Like you do you. Everybody has to make their own choices and all of that. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to say where do these choices come from? Yeah. You know, what 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 influenced you to feel that way? You know what I mean? Why don't you look at that first before we jump out a window, spending all this money and, you know, altering ourselves to beyond recognition? Yeah. You know, why don't we just look at why why are we unhappy with ourselves? Built up. So we had an interview uh, with Boosie where he said that they're trying to make all everybody fucking gay. That's what I think. They're 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 putting it on our culture. They're putting it on. They're putting it everywhere. Gay gay stuff is everywhere, you know. And I think they're they're just trying to do it to make a monetary gain. You know, they're not doing it for the gays. They're not really fans of the gays. They're doing it for monetary gain, man. They're trying to make money off these people, man. You know, you got cartoons that are they have gays on cartoons. Like these are kids. Let kids make their own decision if they want to go that way. Like, I totally understand what Boosie, what Boosie was saying. But the thing is, you know, when you're dealing with these tricksters and, you know, especially these tricksters of language, you have to be very precise with what you say. You know, I believe that Boosie... I believe his intention of what he wanted to say was that TV is influencing kids, is trying to influence kids to be gay. Once he said the word make, that's when they got on him. Right. Well, that's when they jumped on him to make, to try to make him seem absurd. Right. And what he's saying is that you have these young minds who are impressionable and they're seeing this type of thing and they shouldn't be seeing it. Now he's right. Here's what's happened since. The California State Board of Education approved an LGBT class curriculum. Mm -hmm. There's a new Nickelodeon cartoon which will feature a married gay couple. Right, and Wayne Brady is one of the voices. That's why he was commenting on this. Uh It's 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 an interracial gay couple. So he's the black one. Oh. And so they brought him in to talk about what Boosie had said. And he's and then one of the first, and I knew he was gonna do this. He said, first of all, Boosie's like, you know, he said, he's, uh, such as is making our kids, you know, and he put the making our kids gay. You see, you got to, you know what I mean? You got to be careful with what you say, how you say it, pick your words correctly. When you see me talking on here a lot of times, you'll see me go, uh, my eyes will roll up in my head for a second sometime because I'm thinking. I'm not just blurting shit out. Not to say that he was blurting shit out, but you have to be very careful with the words you pick. And, And making, as opposed to influencing, was the thing when I saw the shit about Wayne with Wayne Brady? That's what he was able to really jump on. You know what I mean? To try to make Boosie, you know, look See, look crazy, basically. Because, for example, uh, Jaden Smith uh, recently said that that he wears a skirt so kids won't get beat up in five years for doing so. You know, it sounds good. It sounds like a line from a movie. You know what? I wear a skirt so that kids five years from now won't have to. The fuck out of here. You wear a skirt because you're a fucking weirdo. And your fucking parents gave you no fucking guidelines. That's why you wear a fucking skirt. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Like, Like you're some martyr or champion of... This new age or some shit like that. Like, you wear a skirt because you're helping in the effemination of not just black men, but really all men in this society. You're part of the plan. 
Right, because, you know, Young Thug had a uh, Calvin Klein advertisement for right. wearing a dress. And they actually put a billboard up, I think, in New York. He's saying there's no such thing as gender. Which to me is kind of crazy, obviously. Like, 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 think about it. Like, you, you really, do you really believe in your heart of hearts that somebody are not telling these people to do and say these things? Like... What nigga, what real live motherfucker do you know that's in the hood just sitting around philosophizing saying, hey, you know what? There's really no such thing as gender. Like, that's some bullshit right there. Somebody fed that to you. You know why? Because I heard that before from some other, you know, propagandist that they have out there. They know this man is influential. He got a lot of people following him. Let's give him the code words to say. There's no such thing as gender. Of course there is. You got a dick, right? But he has kids. Right. Clearly you can't make kids. And when your kid comes out, you either got a boy or a girl. Or a hermaphrodite. Which is very, very rare. Yeah, usually the... You'll have Which a is very you'll have rare, a, you'll have a miscarriage. so rare that it's not even worth talking about. That's how rare it is. Yeah. So either you're going to have a boy or a girl. You're not going to say, I have a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I just have a baby. <laughs> I brought my puppy in here. The first thing everybody want to know. What is it, a boy or a girl? There is no gender. Don't hey, ask. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. What are you trying to pin my dog down to a gender? You're trying to make my dog gender specific? Like, come on, y'all. It's fucking stupid. Of course there's gender. And gender ties into sexuality and all of that. And they're trying to separate. See, it's all about separation. The more you divide, the more you can conquer. So let me separate gender from sexuality, from man, from woman, from, you know what I mean? Yeah. All of these separations. So now I got y'all motherfuckers isolated and it's better for me to attack that way. Mm. How do they question people in the police? If we, me and you was Cody's, they're going to put us in separate, separate rooms. rooms. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've gone through that before. <laughs> but what do you think about the whole situation? Man. My point of view, man, I really feel like they tried to paint a, a bad picture on my brother and tried to make him look like like he was a hater. Uh, it was some envy, jealousy type shit, you know what I'm saying? And actuality, you know what I'm saying? Bro, been having this shit, man. He been in the condo. I got my hat on and I had my Coke bottles up under my hat. And I'm sitting at the dinner table like an asshole with the hat on, knowing she gonna tell me to take it off. And I'm just sitting there just, Garping down, you know, in my zone. She said, take that goddamn hat off at the dinner table. I'm like, come on, mom. Coat everywhere. 